Welcome to Rooted Cosmic Souls Storytime. You might think you found this tale. What would you say if I said, this tale found you? And it sought you because the one thing it wants before its energy must, like all things, shift and change, is for you to remember. Remember what, you might ask? Well, the one thing it desires most is for you to remember you. And this is the tale it tells for just such a remembering. At an undisclosed time, in an undisclosed area, night had fallen. The moon was dark, and stars winked and waved, energetically excited to be the opening act before the headliner, New Moon, would take the cosmic stage. Curious and captivated, the skies watched you step and stumble, following an undisclosed path that showed itself only by steps forward. Is this a dream? Am I awake? You were heard asking, head lifted skyward. A warm breeze asked in return, Does it matter? You did not hear the element's response to your question. No, you did not hear it. But you did feel it, and for a split second, you knew you were heard, and you knew you were answered. And then you forgot. You continued to amble, eyes open but heart closed. Cosmic clusters above your crown wished for you to just trust and believe. Their swirly, gray, dark sky mist etched, keep walking, sweet human, at your mind's eye. Again, you did not notice, but you sensed it and placed one foot in front of the other, continuing forward. And then you forgot. An undisclosed amount of time passed again. The deeper into the realm of stars, earth and trust you ambled, the deeper into yourself you stretched. Another undisclosed path showed itself, and so you walked it. Desert sand, rocks and stillness became high desert mountains, boulders and wind. A cactus said go left, and so you did. A long-eared desert cottontail said go right, and so you did. An undisclosed and deeply vibrating hoot stopped you in your tracks. Slowly and silently, you searched and shifted eagerly. In the darkness, you stood waiting and wanting another hoot just above you. Your tilted head offered the sight of a great horned owl perched atop a giant ponderosa pine. Staring right at you, owl hoot hooted again. Are you staring at me? You playfully said, and to your surprise, Owl lifted a wing, feathers rustling, then slowly turned and pointed at what you believed to be a huge boulder, cracked and etched with long indents. For the first time, though you were unaware, time disclosed itself. Taking in what you told yourself was a boulder, you continued to stare and then you forgot again. An undisclosed amount of time passed once again. Owl hoot hooted once more. This time, you sensed the wisdom and protection offered and walked over to the boulder. Your heart felt before your eyes knew these were not etched boulders before you. This was an ancient and very, very, very large petrified tree trunk stump the crack directly in front of you, wide enough to enter. And so you did. This is where the tale seeking you truly begins. Entering the tree, you were transported to an undisclosed location and yet another undisclosed time. Do you recollect your misted feet treading a pebbled river shore where flowing and cresting rapids whispered a watery message? Do you recall it ebbed and flowed at your toes, tickling codes for remembering what was never lost, only forgotten? 
In this space, in this time, dormant pieces of the whole of you sought to activate your shadowy depths, the parts your deepest self parceled and pieced for protection against forgetting forever. The walls of the great petrified tree trunk, now chopped down and forgotten, offered a message imprinted upon barked skin. Evoke gratitude and grace to decipher. Still unsure if you were asleep or awake, your hiding and masked head tilted upward, the dark moon beckoning, and before ego and pride could hide your truest parts, you sensed a howl in your throat and an ache in your heart. Like a baby born cowled, you were called to look up, to see through the fractal fat, that extra protection set in Earth's womb that you could now shed. Messages moved from the tree's bark to your body's skin, where create breath and breadth to decipher wrote itself upon your forearms, glowing, then disappearing. Startled by the depth of which these messages were felt, the womb of you shifted, shuffling your synapses as your feet, head, and heart tumbled down a divine burrow. Still grasping at what you've been told is real, forgetting gripped and grabbed at your hands, offering the illusion of safety in the form of an imbalanced and disharmonious veil seeking to distract and derail your remembering. For an instant your eyes shut and your manic fingers searched the boundaries of the ancient ancestor that called and welcomed you in. Fear instead told your virused senses, this is, you are in a caged toll. Open your eyes. A whisper in the dark ran across your palms and forehead. The tapping and dancing energy of the now interrupted false evidence appearing real, and you remembered that only your deepest, truest self can see and can seek to decipher friend from foe, truth from fiction, secret spirals from linear lies. And that is why this tale is seeking you. Because energy never dies, only changes. And as the life of this tale comes to a close, it offers you the memory of you that is seeking regard and invitation in. This tale offers you the knowing to touch not to feel, even as employing fingertips ask otherwise. Instead, feel to feel. Go in and through because the journey to remembering is inside. As this tale's last light blinked and twinkled in the ethers, dark moon messages continued to etch your memory across your skin, reminding you that you must capture both light and dark to decipher the whole of you. Remember when I said this tale found you? You did not find this tale? Well, mostly that was true. You see, this tale found you already. But it's finding you again because the you you are now is not the you you were then. The you you were then keeps forgetting. And the you you are now is walking this path again. The tale that is soon to be forgotten again is the path to you. The tale is the journey of remembering and the destination remains undisclosed. This tale seeks you again because you have forgotten there is not a disclosed place to get to. And in the tale finding you again, it is hope that you will remember you have been here and there all along. In this delicious divine remembering etched across both ancient bark and your now knowing skin, deciphering of your decoding begins. Your thumping ventricles and latticed energy emit memories of now and of then, offering clues and hints seemingly hidden yet held in plain sight. Another hoot in the ethers hearkens and holds, dropping wisdom down crown as your sight glimpses that same long-eared rabbit from an undisclosed location at an undisclosed time. In this moment, hopping its energy into your brow, where this tale burns its brightest yet. 
the tree and your skin illuminate, the moon now full, its beams lighting flesh, bone, marrow, thoughts, senses, and dreams. When this tale began, it was seeking you. In finding you, this tale ends, leaving its undisclosed trail indelibly etched in the disclosed here and now, its final thoughts curious and hopeful which of you will remember that remembering is the cipher and that you are the key? Thank you for joining this edition of Rooted Cosmic Soul Storytime. The tale seeking you has moved on. Maybe, just maybe, you know someone seeking this tale. Sharing is caring. unfettered and infinite love and gratitude.